Welcome back, guys. Let's continue um, the career in GT Legends. Uh, unfortunately, one of my previous videos uh, was corrupted. The file was corrupted. So one race is missing, which was at Understorp in, in the first challenge, in the first... Uh, what was it? Yeah, Battle of the Mini. There's only one race in the video, and actually there was a second one. You didn't miss really anything. Um, I was quite slow. That's why I decided then to participate in the British Racing Green series. I won, actually, with the Mini. And I did another mistake, because I thought I would have to buy any other car, like the Cortina, or for this challenge, the Cortina or the Alfa Romeo GTA. But in fact, it seems I own already, I already own the Lotus Cortina, so I will do this series here with this car, although I'm tempted to buy the Alpha. Hmm. I mean an Alpha is an Alpha. But on the other hand, let's check out the garage. Doesn't say here, but I'm pretty sure it's front wheel drive. And the Cortina is rear wheel drive, I'm pretty sure. Let's check 126, 800 kilos. A uh, little bit worse. Ah, let's take the Cortina and save some money. I have, by the way, I have 50,000. Nice. Okay. And let's do this. Drift Kings. Let's see if I can drift this car. Manicure Club. I don't know this track at all. I mean, I know Manicure a little bit. But <coughs> can't really remember. I can switch. No, I have to buy the car. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, let's stick with this one. Professional. Actually, you can see the car here. A little bit of it. It's not very pretty, I have to say, but from what I know, it has quite some racing pedigree. I've seen pictures of all the big stars like Jack Stewart, I think, or at least, um, or at least, even um, Jim Clark and Jochen Rindt, I think, driving these cars in anger. Let's check. Back in the days when Formula One drivers actually took part in a couple of different series races. Let's go. Let's leave it like it is for now. I think this is the Renault. Not sure. Steering wheel. Oh, damn, I forgot something. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Leave. Yes, leave, please. Options. Advanced. Height, driver, and wheel. Okay, so let's take a different wheel. I think this wheel, I you haven't seen this one yet at all on my channel. Look at it. Isn't it? Isn't she a beauty? You can be glad that you can't smell anything on the video. This one, this wheel, was lying around in the garage for quite a lot of years. 
and you can still still can smell it. And I'm too stupid to actually mount it. Okay, there we go. Huge. Really huge. I guess I should adjust force feedback right away. Sorry. Controls. Where is it? Here. Let's go well up to now. 100, why not? Probably a lot of force feedback clipping involved. Red lights? Why not? Alright, let's go. Also in the last video, for some reason there was that weird um, desync issue again. The microphone would still be synced with the video, but the game sound wouldn't be. And there's actually a point in the video where there's a short bit of silence and then it's just half a second behind or something. I'm allowed to do this, really? Maybe not in qualifying of the race. I had the same problem with my recording of the last Neo race. Only was out of sync from the beginning. Thankfully, he had a had a backup recording for that, for that one, but not for this last video. I guess it has to do with that plugin I'm using to actually be able to use that additional audio source, input source. this thing quite high. Let's see if we can't make this thing a bit more over steering. Pro 
load gearing. Let's go. mistake ah, let's go for the race don't care really I really don't care probably dead slow but I have here I think this is the Renault, Renault Alpine White car is an alpha. So Cortinas, I think. Yeah, that's the red one. Looks American. going on here I have a feeling I have to be very brutal here to not come last spin okay I will restart this race right now
Okay, much better so far. I had to cut a lot. I'm sorry, um, this is actually my second try. I'll try this championship here. I guess my main mistake was making the setup way too loose. This feels much better here. Okay, I can't remember what I have actually talked about and what not. As I make an absolute dive bomb. Hey, that's how you drive against the AI. Uh, the car I passed is the Ford Falcon. Which I probably have already mentioned. Welcome guys. Drift Kings Challenge, I think it's that's how it's called. Lotus Cortina. Final final uh, cup I need to advance to the next stage. I'll be bro totally honest with you, this is not my first try. I'm having a hard time actually finishing the races. Anyway, I'm driving the Lotus Cortina, a car which I already owned. And I didn't even know that. We're at Manicour, French track, former Formula One track. Dive bomb as usual. For some reason, I found it, find it harder to correct slides than in Iris. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just overdriving way too much. That's probably it. Because I have to really push hard to have a chance against the competition. I think last time I played this game, yeah, let's push him out. I had the AI on the second highest level, not on the highest like here. Lotus steering wheel. Cutting the track. This game is a bit less harsh with you uh, regarding off tracks and cutting the course than I racing is.
Although, to be honest, I don't think I would have survived half of the slides here in our racing. No matter which car. So, I guess it's just me trying too hard, pushing too hard. And not preparing enough. third that's that should be enough for now let's go quickly to the next race six points never going short um, the only setup changes I will make is gearing Way less fuel. Let's put it like that. Um, I'll keep brake bias and everything else. Don't know. I think I had it at 15. Let's go to the race. Never green shorts. Only the south part, I think. So, Dunlop Kiewe. Hairpin. Slap. That Ford is really breaking early, and I'll do another dive bomb. Always the same with these games against the AI. You always can get them on the braking. Usually they're quicker on the straights and slower through the corners. I mean, it gets a bit distorted here because we are all driving different cars. But generally, they always see you, of course, when you make a dive bomb, they just leave the door open for you. That's why all the guys who are new to online racing will try moves that simply are A, unfair, <laughs> and B, many times they just don't work and end up in tears. And even more times. <laughs> um, both guys keep blaming each other. 
without really analyzing what happened. Oh yeah. I'm sure you will know this when you have been through iRacing's rookie series. Car ahead is a Shelby GT350. Look at that. A human player, human driver, would have gone for the apex here and I would have had nowhere to go. And it would have been a crash and it would, would have been all my fault. Quick little lesson in racing um, etiquette. As long as you are not really alongside the other guy, I mean, there is co some controversy about what alongside means if you really have to be up to the half of his car. Hey, I won. Or if there a short, qu a tiny little uh, overlap is enough, but if you're not next to him before t the turning in point of the corner, I mean you can outbreak him, but you have to be next to him before he turns in. After that point, it's a dive bomb. That's that's what most people would, how most people would define it. Cool, I won. Second in the championship. Monza. I will leave the gearing as it is here. Six laps. I'll leave everything. Yeah. Race. Let's go. One's a short, very short ver version. Go to the right before the first chicane. Oops. Brilliant start. <laughs> um, that looked a bit scripted. <laughs> yeah, I'm making the same move, all of them at the same time. Here, um, especially the Ford is pretty much unbeatable, and also even more, I think. Oops, that was too early. The Shelby, and also the uh, Renault is much better on top speed. I guess this is because it's not shaped like a giant door, giant block, brick. Throw a dive bomb? Sure, not. Actually, this was a key. Sort of. Well, I don't think I will win this race. slow.
No, I don't think... Actually, I think I will come last. I'm pretty sure I will. track comes to iRacing will be amazing. N I've never been a huge fan of Monza, but with the way with the way iRacing um, puts out its tracks, I mean the quality, it's so good. Oh, it will be awesome. And also I think it will be a track where the racing will be really good, like Road America for example. It's usually usually very nice racing there. Too slow in the initial part of the corner. But they're just too quick for me. It's weird, I would have to compare the lap times, but... In the previous attempts I wasn't that far away. That's it. Well, <sighs> still should be on a podium for this challenge. I hope, really hope. Look at the lap times. Well, not that bad actually. Just consistently slower. Ooh, barely. Third, good. What is it? Twenty thousand credits. Yes, next stage. Couple of new tracks. Dijon. Okay, let's quickly check out which cars I would be driving. Again, the Cortina, no! Oh. Same track, really? That's stupid. That's really stupid, <laughs> come on. I mean, I guess usually you would, you would not end the previous stage with that challenge, but still. Oh, I can drive the Abarth here. Ford Mustang. Alright. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.